How you doing? So today's video on how to heaven is going to be a very short how to video. It's going to be on how to actually install that backup camera. Good morning. Hey, uh, how you doing? So today's video on how to heaven is going to be a very short how to video. And what I'm doing is I'm installing a stereo, a double din and lots of other stuff. But today it's just going to be one portion of that. And that portion is going to be how to install a backup camera. And uh, mainly it's not about the wiring or anything. There's plenty of videos on that. It's going to be on how to actually install that backup camera. So enjoy the video. So here's the back end of my uh, Carrera. It's a two wheel drive or rear wheel drive um, C2. And you can see that I have the license plate lights out and they uninstall with two screws. So you've got a screw there and a screw there. It's going to be stuck pretty good so you're going to have to pry it out. And once you do that, what you're going to end up with is this assembly here. And you can see there's the light and then if you pull the rubber boot off, you have to pull this plastic piece off first, but you pull the plastic piece off, you pull the rubber boot off and then you're left with the actual light itself. Now, uh, initially my thought was Let's just go ahead and order some cheap LED replacements and that way I won't mess with my actual factory Hella light. But then after doing a little research, the Hella light is available, readily available. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sit here and wait for it to come from China. What I'll do is I'll put an LED bulb in this, replace this uh, bulb here, and I'm going to take this one here apart and I'm going to install the camera right here in this lens and it'll disable this light here but it should be fine. So in case you're wondering these are spade connectors and uh, you just pull them off and that's what I'm going to do. So in order to pull this off you just take the connector and just wiggle it back and forth and pull and there you go comes right out just like that. This is the backup camera that I got off of eBay and I believe this was like 12 bucks. It's pretty cheap. I bought a few of them and I installed two of them on my Tundra. So I'm pretty familiar with them. But let me show you what comes in the box. And there's no link because just get on eBay and look up um, backup camera and you'll see it. There's all kinds of different designs. This one happens to have a barrel mounting which is right here and what you're going to do is you're going to take a nut and it comes with the aluminum nut and it threads on here and then there's some uh, little seals so what my plan is is to take the license plate light and completely disassemble this part here with the electrical connector and this little bayonet bulb comes right out and uh, I'll disassemble this piece here and then I will put this filing this down I'll put my camera right there like that and, and I'll just use the nut. Now one thing that I would caution you about is that there's very very little space in the, uh, the body itself but I checked and you can take this camera and push it right through the opening in the body so that means there's no body modifications. So then the question becomes am I going to be able to get this in here with enough clearance to uh, mount the camera and put it in and um, the answer to that is going to be yes because I'm sure I can do it. Now the nut I don't believe I'm going to be able to use because the nut won't fit through this same hole which means you'd have to either file the body or file the nut and I don't think either is necessary. I've mounted these cameras in the past and you can just push this in get it to where you want and then just put a little bit of glue around here and that'll secure it. You can use silicon. There's no stress on this piece whatsoever so you can use silicon or whatever to make it removable. So with that said let me show you what else is in the back. Uh, you've got this wire here. Uh, one end goes to the stereo, one end goes to the camera 
it's pretty long so you don't have to worry about the length. In addition, the camera itself has a length of wire to it. So you've got plenty of wire in this kit. And let me just explain to you what the connectors are. Yellow is going to be your video signal. That's uh, pretty universal. Even on home DVD players and things like that. Uh, yellow is your uh, video signal. And then it also comes, sorry about that, that was the nut, which I won't be using, with a short length of power cable itself. So here's your power cable, like this. And what happens is this end goes in here. Now, contrary to the way most people try to wire this, they try to put the reverse signal on here. Don't do that. What you're going to do is you're going to connect the, the black wire to a ground. That's really easy. In fact, you may not even have to do that because most of these cameras get their ground signal through the video. So you could just simply run the red wire which powers the camera up. So you want to power the camera up and you're going to, and I'll show you this right here because this has got two ends on it and both ends are identical. So on one end you have your red wire and what you're going to do is you're going to plug your camera in to this, the video feed. You are going to wire your red wire to this which will then feed power to your camera and then you can ground that or not, that's up to you. And uh, test it just to see if it works. And what will happen is your camera will then get power anytime the key is on. And the reason you want that is because there is a small warm up period on the camera. If you keep the camera powered up at all times, the minute you put it in reverse, instantly you got a, a picture on your, your screen, on your double din. So now that takes us to the other end here. So this does not go to the reverse. As a matter of fact, we're not touching reverse with this whole camera right here, the whole camera wiring. This goes to your, um, the back of your double din unit. There is a video signal, RCA jack, female. You plug this into that. You're gonna take this and plug it into power that's going to be switched power on your ignition. So it can also go to the red wire on your stereo. So when you turn your key on, the red wire gets power, it goes to your stereo, and it also shoots down to the camera, keeps it on at all times. So you're probably wondering, where does the, red, the reverse signal come from? Well, that's pretty easy. The double din unit will take care of that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your reverse wire and you can find it either in your fuse box, uh, your gear shift lever, uh, somewhere up front, you're gonna find a reverse signal. Now on the Porsche, I believe it's a purple and black wire. And you tap that purple and black wire and you connect it to the reverse signal on your stereo. That's all you have to do. When your stereo senses reverse through that wire, it will then activate internally the camera screen that shows you your rear view camera. So, that's it, that's the wiring portion. All we're gonna work on today is mounting this guy into this guy. Okay, so there's a phrase, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Don't exactly understand what that means because I don't know who eats cats. Don't know why you'd wanna skin them. Anyway, um, there's more than one way to cut this plastic. So you can cut this plastic off, you can use a Dremel, which is a little bit harder, or you can use, uh, and it's quickly becoming my favorite tool for cutting, it's called a multi-tool. So what's a multi-tool? This is a multi-tool. This is a Milwaukee, uh, this is an 18 volt. They come in all different sizes, everybody makes one. Um, but the biggest difference is battery life. And right here you'll see the bit, and it says wood. Well, if it can cut wood, it can cut plastic. Now, when it comes to these bits, they're getting to the point where they're pretty universal. So if you need these bits, my suggestion is you go to, of all places, Walmart, and get their super tough brand, and that's only because it comes in a four pack and it's $10, which is significantly cheaper than some of the other ones I've seen. I've seen these for as much as $20 for one blade. So go to Walmart and uh, get yourself one of these. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this light like this and now I want to put the camera more towards the license plate, the center of the car, than on this side. At this distance, I don't think it's going to make a, a world of difference because the difference between this and the exact center of the car is probably about four inches. So I don't think it's going to make one bit of difference. So we're going to turn this on and this one here happens to be variable speed. 
So we will go ahead and cut this. There, made one cut. Then we're going to come across and cut this off. Now be careful when you're doing this because it could slip and you don't want to cut yourself. Uh, but this is like a vibrating blade. The tip is kind of like a hacksaw, so stay away from that. And I'm going to continue off camera. So what you'll do is you'll see right here, once we focus, this metal tab. Now I don't want to cut through it with my multi-tool, so I took a pair of pliers, little needle nose, and just kind of pulled it up a little bit. It's held in here with a little tab on the back side of the plastic, that little square hole there. I don't really have any interest in keeping this, so all I did was pull this out a little bit, and then I made my incision on the outside of the plastic and once again we're out of focus but I made the cut right there and then you're just going to take a pair of pliers and snap it off okay get it out of the way now once it's out of the way what you can then do is you can get your multi-tool all the way in there and, and uh, you don't want to hit the brass because the brass is metal and this tool was made for wood or plastic so what do you have after you break this tab off, and that's this tab right here, we cut through it with a multi-tool. Cut this way. I cut this little slot here, and I'm taking this piece off. And the reason that I cut this whole section out is quite simply because I want to put the camera here, and I don't want to interfere with the screw, and I didn't want to end up cutting it twice. So I kind of overestimated just a smidge. I mean, it's actually perfect. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole in here and drill it out. So I will drill out this bracket right here with a hole large enough to put this in. Now what that's gonna mean also is I'm gonna to have to trim this with the multi-tool. There's a little shade here and that's to Porsche's way to make the light reflect on the license plate. Pretty high tech, right? Nope, I'm gonna cut that off. So here you can see that we cut off the little light shade, but only in the area where the camera's gonna go. Camera's gonna go right there, and the shade has been effectively cut off. I'm just leaving this here. I don't care about it. It's not in the way, so I'll just leave that there. This, by the way, is the negative uh, side, so it won't make a difference one way or another. I'm going to put some heat shrink around those wires and uh, just uh, isolate them so that they don't short out on anything. The ground I'm not worried about, the negative, once it's got the heat shrink should be fine. So now we're going to drill this and put the camera right through there. All right, let me just go get my drill. It's a step drill bit is what I'm using, but not on camera. So in case you're wondering what is a stepped drill bit, it's this guy right here. and. You can pick these up pretty cheap at Harbor Freight. This one is actually a nice high quality one. It's made by a company called Lennox. Uh, they make blades, uh, hacksaw, bandsaw, all kinds of blades, but this is a, a nicer one. But again, you can get these at Harbor Freight. I think they come in a pack of two or three for like $10, $15. Uh, but you want to get that and then we're going to measure and see what depth we're going to go to um, probably yeah this isn't i'll get a caliper and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drill a pilot hole in this and then just step right through and that's how i'm going to do it so here we have it the finished product and that is right here and as you can see we drilled the hole in it and tried to get it as centered as possible it's kind of an optical illusion because the clear lens is offset, it looks like the hole is too, but it's almost nearly perfectly centered within this distance. And here's the camera, and so we're going to try to insert it, and the way you do that is, you can't get both plugs in at once, so you put one plug in, then you put the other plug in, and then you pull it through that portion right there, the little splice back from the factory, and then this will go up, and it's a pretty good fit actually pretty tight fit and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to leave this loose for now 
and the reason being that I want to try it with the uh, head unit turned on to see if the camera is aimed correctly. Now, if the camera is not correctly, you can simply turn this if you want, because remember we're about four inches from off center, from the center. That's not a big deal. And uh, you can also tilt it. So you can pull this out from the plastic like that, and then you can tilt the camera thusly. So you can tilt it that way, or you can tilt it that way, depending on what view you're trying to get. So that is it for today's video how to mount a backup camera to your Porsche 911. This also works pretty much on any car that has a license plate light uh, like this. Now, when you're on eBay, you can find these cameras and they actually have some that have a thinner post. There's one that's got a metal post that's thinner. And um, you know, you can do the push-in ones. They just push right in there and they snap in. You could put that in if you want. So there's any number of cameras. I'm only doing this to offer you a suggestion on how to mount your camera without drilling into your car body because it's a lot cheaper to buy this lens than it is to buy a bumper panel. All right, thanks for watching How To Heaven and subscribe if you haven't already. Take it easy.